Reflect is yet another AI coding assistant. There are heaps of them. I have even forget, forgot the count of how many I already have installed and done the videos on. So I'm not going to comment on the quality of this new AI coding assistant because it looks very similar to what um, we already have done a lot of time with other tooling, but it is quite interesting to install. There are a few methods you can do it. There is um, a cloud version of it, then there is a plugin version of it, and then you can also locally host it. Plugin is simply just plug and play from your browser. Cloud version, all you need to do is to sign up to this website. And then there is a free account. There is some paid account with various features available or not available, depending on the type of account you have. And then there are a few extensions for VS Code and JetBrains. And what it does, it uh, simply does what every other EA coding assistant does. It completes your code, it extends it, it finds a bug, and a lot of the similar stuff, which you can, I'm sure, read on their website. And I'm not going to bore you with that. Now, in order to install it, what I'm going to do, I have already installed my Ubuntu operating system on AWS EC2 and there are few, few prerequisites which you need to follow. Now in order to see how that can be done, this is a GitHub repo from um, these guys, the Refect ones and I will drop the link in video description of course and then they have some more information as how what it does and all that stuff but in order to install it you need to have few prerequisites as I mentioned earlier. The first one is that Docker and then that Docker should be with NVIDIA GPU support. And in order to do that, you would need to have NVIDIA drivers installed. For example, I'm using AWS EC2 instance with G4DN 2X large. So I already have installed NVIDIA drivers. And then you also need to have NVIDIA container toolkit, which is um, which you need to then associate with your docker and you don't uh, if you don't know how to do that i have two separate videos one is for as how to install nvidia drivers and second how to install this docker with nvidia on the NVIDIA, nvidia container toolkit and i will drop the link in videos description now once you have that then all you need to do is to run this command in order to self-host this refact so let's copy it from here and then go to your terminal. I already have this Ubuntu here with everything installed like Docker, NVIDIA Container Toolkit and the driver. So let me run this command. And as I'm, I am running um, AWS EC2, so make sure that in the security group of that EC2, you have this port open. So now let's run it. When I was running it, I got this error. So I had to run it with sudo. And as you can see now, it is running and downloading all the layers. And it is fairly huge. You can see it is in GBs. Uh, and this one is actually quite huge. So, uh, but shouldn't take too long. So let's wait for it to finish. It took around five minutes to download everything and extraction. And now it is done. Now let's try to open it in our browser. So there you go. So I have it here. And as you can see, it is refact model hosting and it is giving me on the top left my gpu which i'm using with this aws ec2 instance the memory it is using and then um, the hosted model is this one which is contrast code 3b multi and it is for completion sharding and then um, you can also enable third party api if you want but and then there are a few other things and another cool thing is that if you click on add model, you can add um, any locally hosted models if you have. So for instance, if I click on add model, I can select all of these models. One of my favorite one is Code Llama, as you might already know, and it will download it. So I'm not doing it right now. I have another video on Code Llama if you're interested also on the wizard coder, which is also fairly good and powerful. And then uh, if we go on to the top, there should be a menu item. Let me make my screen a tad bigger so that you would be able to see the top menu. So you can see there is a sources fine tune. Let's click on sources. From here, you can um, upload your file and then source them. You can even add your GitHub repo here. 
you can also do some fine tuning which is amazing i really like this functionality uh, from the fine tuning points and then it also shows you shows you the server logs whatever logs are there which i'm running by on my local system you can also upload your own code as a source file in order to further fine tune it so go to sources and then maybe select a file from the local system let me select it click on file chosen and it will open a new window for you just select any code file from your system i have selected a simple python code file my.py and then click on scan sources and in the bottom half it should show you that what type of file it is it's a python file it has detected it that's a python code and also now you can um, select it for the fine tuning by clicking here you can also include or uh, exclude from here and then you can uh, fine tune from here i'm not uh, using fine tuning at the moment but you can uh, even do the test set with it by selecting from here now um, if you want to use any other model as i already mentioned you can select from adding the model here and in the future you can use your open open ai api key so this is it i hope that you enjoyed it um, again i will drop all the commands i have used in video's description so that you can follow along if you have any questions or comment or if you get stuck feel free to drop them in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much